This quick video is on the generic pump cycle that occurs in the mining sector, specifically in the microcap space. What we have here is a made up stock. It's got a green, green line here representing the price action historically. And let's say this is over maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. And let's say it was a lithium company. This gray line here represents a trend line. And suddenly we hit a point where this company is not really going anywhere. They've probably failed to do anything with their lit lithium deposit, lithium mine, land, whatever you want to call it. So now we need to generate a new story. And this is a key concept that I want to highlight about the mining space is that you're not really investing or trading a mining stock based on its potential for success. What you're doing is you're trading the story. What you're doing is you're buying before anyone else really anticipates and understands the potential of this story. And that story could be anything, could be a multi-bagger, could be, you know, bonanza grade potential, could be anything. But basically we just need a new story so that the CEOs can line their pockets and so they don't have to get real nine to five jobs. So what we get here is an announcement, typically a new tenement. Uh, so if this lithium made up lithium company uh, wants to go to gold because gold is a new hot sector, it's currently breaking out. So they want to get some attention there. So they pull out a trading halt, uh, displaying their intentions to mine this new piece of land or perhaps the existing drill results, historical drill results, and they suddenly want to go for it. Great. They pull out a cap raise. So once that happens, they line their pockets nicely and they do a lazy sort of drill permit and they go, all right, let's make some holes, maybe some five holes somewhere, nothing significant. So then we've got a nice little move up that's begun on the back of this news. And this may take anywhere from weeks to months. You never know how slow these terrible shitty companies are. And we get a bit of a pump and a pullback. And then you get the announcement that the drilling has commenced. Now, drilling typically takes a month, uh, depending on weather conditions, depending on how many how big the drill campaign is, whether they're doing like 1500 meters, which would be typically 15 holes that are 100 meters deep, um, or if they're just doing five big long drills, who knows? It really depends, but typically 30 days is a nice little rule of thumb. So now that that announcement's come out, the price moves up a little bit and then comes back down. And all of a sudden we discover that the company actually has some options that they're releasing and or they're doing a capital raising or basically anything to dilute the stock while it's on its way up. So then we have one final move and then typically this, this sort of action here happens within a week before the drill results. There's some anticipation and drive and hype. It's pushing it up and all of a sudden we've hit drill results. Now this is where you hear the phrase sell the news. Uh, it's quite prevalent in the micro cap space because the company's not going to go anywhere. Right, this is just drill results. You can't turn a company from microcap junior into a producer in the space of, I don't know, anything less than really a year and a half, two years. So when you get drill results, fantastic. It's gonna sell back down because those drill results typically don't mean much. Unless you've got a genuine bonanza grade uh, for that particular commodity that it's drilling for, uh, or a really high grade that can sustain a move up and there's just genuine value in the land. Uh, you might find company maybe like one in a hundred drill results may have, have something really worthwhile to sustain a move. Um, then typically it'll just sell down and then the company won't do anything. It'll, they might sell the land at some point, uh, but really what you've just done is you've bought into a story, you've sold the story, rinse and repeat that's how the mining stocks really work and it just keeps the ceos and the management team in business that's all it does just check the uh check the financial reports and you'll see exactly how much they get paid every year to keep doing this and look on the off chance you find a micro cap stock that aims to become a producer you might find this checklist useful it's the stages involved to becoming a producer I didn't make this list myself. I stumbled upon it on the Argosy stock forum. So I just highlighted the parts that are specific to lithium brine. Otherwise, I think it's a really good summary that you might find helpful.